Hey Virgo, this is Nikki. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, hello, hello, hello. Thank you all. I hope that you all have liked. I hope that you all have subscribed and I hope that you all will consider sharing. My name is Nikki. If you don't know who I am, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Earthly Virgos. Okay, this is your October reading, Virgo. What's coming up for you in October 2022? Okay, we got the nine of, of wands. So uh, worry, <laughs> you know, um, pessimism in your life, Virgo. You always like you're always wearing, gearing up for the worst, but you got to understand you're coming out of this. It's like you're coming out of the worry situations, the worrisome things that have been bothering you. Maybe you just decided, you know what? I'm not going to worry anymore. I'm just going to let spirit handle all of this. I'm just going to let shit go. Okay. That's possibly, for, that's possibly the best thing that you can possibly do is let shit go, Virgo. What's coming up for you in October? Okay, we got a real house. We're real house. Maybe somebody watches the Real Housewives of, of whatever. I don't watch all this shit, but maybe you are a fan of the Real Housewives. Maybe this is the perfect opportunity for eternity. The perfect opportunity for you to get caught up in that. Okay, October twenty twenty two, Virgo. What to expect? Ooh, we got steps. <laughs> see, I love it when a plan comes together. You see that? Moving on out of something, Virgo. And I think I think you know that this it's time to let some things go in your life. Okay. It's time. Okay. The steps are leading you out. You got to trust this situation. Trust. Whatever this situation is, whatever is this message is saying to you, Virgo, it's time. Okay. We got this message. Oh, did I just say message? Yep. Trust this message. It's not gonna. It's not gonna fail. This is not going to be a failure for you, Virgo. Don't even think about it being a failure. Okay. What to expect for October? We got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Success, financial success for you, Virgo. This is some a strong setting up a strong business relationship with somebody. This is your steps to your wish fulfillment, steps to your new job. Just trust the steps that you are being guided to take, okay? And this is coming up for you in October. October 2022 for Virgo. Oh, the Ace of Cups. You're going to love it. Wherever it is you're going. What did I just say? I love it when a step, when a plan comes together. Got the chariot here. So wherever it is you're headed up and out from, it's going to lead you to something that you're absolutely going to love that money. You're going to love the bank account. Okay. But definitely you're headed out of this situation, Virgo. It's like, I'm at this point, this, this new beginning in my life, this is fertility for you too, but uh, new, new ideas coming together for you and somebody else as well. This is a new idea. This is something that's been happening for a long, long time. You know, it's, it's just now coming up for you now. Now it's your turn. It's your turn now, Virgo. It's like you are you ready to bat? Okay. Are you ready to bat? We got the hangman. It's been it's been come. It's been you've been hung up on this situation for a long, long time, or you've been stuck at a certain pinnacle, you know, in your life for a long, long time. It's your turn now. Okay. Because this is coming for you. Look, this 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 could be a new job. Let me be quiet because that might be for me too, y'all. Okay. So with this new job you're going to, this new opportunity come, you're going to be able to climb the ladder to success. There's like going to be so many good things for you at this job. Okay. It's a new opportunity for you to meet new people. I'm hearing neg negotiate the salary, Virgo. Don't just, you know, if they offer you something, you know, negotiate. Ask for a little bit more. They they have leeway either one way or the other. You know, meet them somewhere in the middle, but middle but closer somewhere toward the amount that you're looking for. You'll come to a to a mutual agreement, but don't let them just stick you with a certain amount. If you think you deserve more, go for it. All right. October. I'm hearing October. I'm hearing October weddings as well. Maybe you you've been invited to a wedding. I'm hearing shindig. Okay. This could be a wedding that's tied to uh, Halloween, uh, dressing up as a wedding or dressing up in a we wedding, you know, costumes and stuff like that. 
We got the five. So you gotta leave, you're gonna have to leave something behind. Okay. With this job that you're on right now, you're gonna have a lot of people who are disappointed in the fact that you're leaving. And these people really these are the people that really like you, Virgo. <laughs> I don't want to see you go, but you you got to go. You know, this is something that's going to bring you up so many abundant. Like I said, you're going to be a tie. You're going to be tied to a lot of different things. A lot of different networking situations are going on here for you, but it's going to be so much. It's going to be so much better for you because where you are, I think you're tied to a lot of people. You kind of get close to people on your jobs and that's okay because they come and talk to you about a lot of different things. Same energy here. OK, so there's going to be a lot of different things. You're going to ha have emotional bliss and happiness. And this is something that you're going to attain. You're going to be a lot more happier where you're headed. Not to mention the finances is going to be OK. There go, there go. The two of cups. You know, I, th I definitely think that this is going to be something that you really, really do enjoy doing. You really, really will enjoy doing it. Some of you may have already started a new position. It's like really fresh to you. Okay. Yep. I, I just feel like this is this job or this situation is you're very, very compatible with these the skill level. Okay. You can be taught a few things and the job where you're headed or, or that you're current that you're newly put in, you have newly attained is something you like you're gonna teach each other something, okay? We got five of yeah, you're leaving behind negativity and conflict. Though you may get along with some people on your job, some people you don't. Possibly the just the energy in the job alone is full of as is full of nonsense and, and negativity, you know. And it's like you're struggling with this job and, and disagreeing with some of the things that are being done or being said. I'm done. I'm moving with the chariot here. You're done. Just it's you know, it's not it's neither bad or good, but it's just time to go. Just time to go, Virgo. Oh, yeah, the ten of because I think you get to the point to where you you know maybe people are going to start lying on you, throwing you under the bus, or saying you know saying things about you that aren't true or whatever you know because it's becoming toxic. If it's not, it will be if you stay. You don't have to deal with it anymore. Now, clarify the three of Pentacles for Virgo. This is October. What's coming up in October for you, Virgo? The strength card. So you're going to be so, I think that you're going to love this job possibly more than you have any other position because it's going to bring financial stability into your life. This is where you're going to show you, this is who you're going to show your true worth and your true character to this new job. These people who, at, at this job who you're working for, they're going to see the real Virgo. They're going to see that that analytical detail oriented boss person come out of this month. Come out of this ring. I'm gonna say come out of this motherfucking ring, but you get it. They're gonna see so I think that you this person, whoever whoever hires you for this position, is going to see something in you that they haven't seen in a long, long time. Somebody who can actually be devoted to this job, to this position, Virgo. Tonight is a wine night. So one of my um subscribers, friends, and a uh, lady who lives in the building where I work, she got me this. I think I told you all about this when I opened it uh, last week. I just haven't drank it all, but I'm killing this bottle tonight. <laughs> Galeo Family Sweet Apple. And it's really good. I don't I don't like sweet wines, but this is really, really good. Okay, let's get an overall energy read for October. You know, taking those steps higher. In your career and finances. And this is the real deal, Holyfield. Next year, about this time, Virgo, <laughs> I'm not going to say you're going to be sitting on bank, but just like from night, from night to day, next year, about this time, you're going to have a lot, a lot on your shoulders, but, but that's okay. You'll be able to handle it, especially financially, especially this, this job is going to show you strengths that you never knew you had. Oh, we got the devil here, though. Ooh, why is the devil here? Clarify the devil for us. Okay, clarify. Um, yeah, I think that 
but you can't over overdo it on this job because it's going to be a responsibility. You're going to have a lot on your shoulders because you're going to be the one in charge, making that bank, bank, making that bank. So don't overdo it. You know, you tend to get into a situation. You're so detail oriented. You forget that it's time to walk out the door and go home. So don't become a, a workaholic. Don't, you know, it's going to be a job where you're going to find your strength, you know, but, but you're going to find something that you absolutely like to do. But listen, Plan, organize, lead, and control, and go home. You get it? Don't don't put too much on you that you can't handle. You know, because this is the real deal, Holyfield coming for you. And within a year now, you're going to be set. You're going to be stable, but you're going to have a lot of responsibilities. People are going to start, people are going to start. People are going to be looking up to you to make some decisions. So you got to really make sure that you're able to to spread out. You know, delegate. You got people who want a higher position. They want to learn new things. They can learn that from you. And this is what you you are here for, to do what you need to do with this company and, and lead people in the direction that they need to go in, okay? And show them that you can work hard. You have a lot of people looking up to you, possibly even mentoring some people on what it is that you're doing so they can learn from you, you know? And we got the aid of, yeah, I, I see you doing a lot of talking, a lot of communicating with people. A year from now, you know, I really do think that whatever it is you're destined to do is going to help you expand. It, but it, it also, I'm hearing, keeps talking about networking. Okay, networking with a lot of different people and your strength, whatever it is you're gifted in doing. I don't care if I go if it's starting your own channels, just getting out started with tarot, or working for whatever company it is that you work for, or you're newly hired at. It's going to show a strength that you never knew you had. You know, you never knew that you had this ability to run a company, to do something, uh, to do something for a business or something, being a boss or our manager or something. But you're going to show your ass off on this job. This is something that you can do. Never, ever say what you can't do, Virgo, because yes, you can. This is something that you can do. It's going to be very rewarding, but please don't tire yourself out. You don't have to prove yourself. You will prove yourself in due time. But don't try to prove yourself so much that you forget to take care of yourself, okay? Because sometimes that's what we tend to do. You got to hold up, keep your head up, okay? This situation is faded. And Spirit is telling you, I'm getting ready to show you. You don't believe me? All right. I'll show you what I can do. Show you what I can do. Finally, Virgo, it's your turn to be happy, Virgo. Because Spirit is telling you, I got something new for you. It's your turn now, baby. It's your turn. Spirit to say you're next. Next in line for a miracle. Your miracle is here. Okay. Spirit to say it's your turn. Are you ready? Let's get ready for this new company, this new job, this new position, this new adventure where you're going to show all of your motherfucking ass. Okay, Virgo. All right. I hope this message resonates. You all have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon.